Hey guys, before the video starts, I just want to give a quick shout out to someone in the community I thought deserved a bit of a spotlight, and her name is Azusa Rose. She recently posted her content in the Let's Talk Tekken Facebook group, and I took notice of her. She makes these really awesome character sprites made completely out of beads. The more notable ones, as it pertains to Tekken, are the Josie Rizal and Kazumi Mishima and Tiger bead sprites. Everything I've showed you is available on her Etsy page known as Roll Dough Works and is fairly priced. And soon she'll have Brian Fury, Steve Fox, and Crimson Viper available for purchase. If you want to pick one up, a link to her Etsy will be in the description. What is going on guys off here? Welcome to the future. I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Me and Eddie have just been chilling here talking about all the salt we're gonna make with your tears. I am proud to say the next following words. Eddie Gordo has just been announced for Tekken 7. Eddie got his own trailer and I have a lot to say about it, but before we get into that, I want to talk about the Tekken 7 leak that happened just a little while ago. I didn't initially report on it because there was really nothing to it other than the fact that there was a blurry picture and someone made this huge claim. So Harada and Michael Murray flew out to Brazil for a Tekken press event. People were speculating that this would be the time that Eddie would get revealed because Brazil is literally where the character Eddie Gordo is from. But nothing initially happened until someone at the event apparently took a picture with their phone of a monitor showing a figure that appeared to be wearing a purple shirt and possibly jeans, claiming it to be Eddie Gordo. But nothing about this image is definitive. So I went to Michael Murray himself and I asked him what is up with the leak. I didn't go to Harada because he never answers anything, but got no answer. Then someone else asked him the same question. Then the mother acknowledged it. I'm starting to feel like he don't like me. <laughs> he jokingly said, Eddie who? What leak? Meaning that yes, he knew that the leak happened. It was only literally everywhere. All leaks and blurry pictures aside, we now have the truth, and my favorite Tekken character of all time is now in Tekken 7. Anyone who said he was replaced by Lucky Chloe can click this link. Now let's talk about this trailer. I absolutely love how Eddie flips into action in his classic animation, I love the clothes, and I love the jewelry. I also like that after doing a while standing 1 till the 3 combo into relax, pressing 4 will now actually put your opponent into a tailspin allowing you to follow up with yet another combo. I have rarely done that setup because it's never actually been a setup, but now it looks like a tool I'll have to learn to use. I also like that from relax when pressing 3 till the 4, which is the launcher, to a head first lying face down enemy, instead of the impact causing a sliding away animation, it now causes the opponent to lift off of the ground a little bit. Although I'm not familiar with this interaction and if it will ever create a wall splat animation, someone who's very familiar with Tekken 7 should let me know in the comments. Eddie pulls out a new combo after Water Circle 4 3 that involves an elbow into a spinning kick. The spinning kick looks a lot like Up Forward 4, but it's so wild and it swings high in this situation and it causes a fucking tailspin. And if it works like I think it does, this move is literally insane. Eddie's rolling elbow is now a power crush move. This combo, relax 4 tilde 3 into 1, can now be comboed into a beautiful kick that also causes a tailspin. On counter hit, down forward 4 is now a setup for up 3. <laughs> you don't understand. Down forward 4 is almost useless. But in this game, on counter hit, you press down forward 4. They stay down there for about five years, allowing you to have time to press up three, which causes Eddie to jump up in the air, do a headstand, and, and kick with both feet on the ground. That's a setup now. <laughs> That's a setup now. Okay, so the last hit on Eddie's classic breakdance combo now causes a tailspin. However, I'm not sure that it works every single time, given the circumstances of the combo that was shown in this video. Again, someone let me know in the comments because if it works like this every time, I get a longer combo every time because I do that combo quite often. Eddie's Rage Art. I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. It does a total of seven hits in the actual animation, and it's very flashy, I think maybe a little bit too flashy, and it leaves the opponent at a great distance for a tackle. I think that's pretty good. The last thing I have to say about Eddie is when Eddie is looking up into the sky, he mentions his master. Well, in Tekken 6, legendary Capoeira master died when Jin failed to keep his promise of curing his master's disease. However, I'll bring to your attention that all previous Eddie and Christie endings, 3 through 5, did not actually happen because of what happened in the very next game after it. I explain it all right here in this video. So if they didn't happen, 
How do we know that Tekken 6's ending is actually canon? This means that Eddie could be looking up to the heavens because his master actually is dead, or he could just be staring off into the distance like people do when they talk to themselves, just being extra dramatic. It could literally go either way. There are two new stages, one which is just another f***ing helipad stage, and the other which looks like a reskin of the arena from Tekken 4, which was then reskinned in Tekken Tag Tournament 2, which now looks like this. I feel like it also takes some inspiration from the Snoop Dogg stage as well. It actually concerns me about if this stage will actually be able to hold up all of its own nonsense on a PS4. This stage has pyrotechnics, multiple monitors showing the same image from a live feed, characters lined up all over the sides, fireworks, a big giant structure in the distance, some of them with actually moving parts. I wonder what's gonna happen when you have two players with auras and special items with special effects going off everywhere and water effects and particle effects going everywhere. What is going to happen to the frame rate? The frame rate is just gonna die. You see, back on Tekken Tag Tournament 2, at least on Xbox, lag was such a big problem because of all the stuff happening in the background and the custom character auras and the costumes and whatnot made the game lag so bad that they actually released an update to the game that took everything like that out. I don't want that to happen to this game. I just hope the PS4 can hold it all together because I do not plan on getting a PS4 Pro. That's all we have for the video today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. I'll see you guys next time.